What's going on guys, it's Nick here from MigrateIphone.com and today we're going to bring you a preview of the just released iOS 4.2 for the iPad which I'm going to show you on right here. It also is for the iPhone and iPod Touch but we are going to show you on the iPad. So this does bring a few key features to the iPad which we sh should have seen probably earlier on than it is actually going to be released which is in November so watch out for iTunes for that with the release of iOS 4.2. But today we're just going to show you the preview of iOS 4.2 Beta 1. Of course this is the first beta and I'm sure in later beta stages they will improve on it and of course even improve furthermore um, with the final release. So we're going to show you on the iPad right now. So first thing I want to show you is of course you get all the same key features you get in iOS 4 like multitasking, like folders, things like that. So that brings it all to the iPad. Now as you can see here the same wallpaper. This is actually I believe the iPhone wallpaper because it is a bit pixelated but nothing major there. Just something to um, notice in the actual beta 1. They probably make a iPad wallpaper of this for the final release. So let's actually show you multitasking the first thing that you're probably going to think about when you actually install this on your device. So again you double tap the home button and it brings up your multitasking bar down here at the bottom. So as, a, as before you can access all your applications that are open and of course you can just hold them down and press the little button in the top corner to close them when you are finished and you want to save a bit of RAM. So as you can see you just do that and then you click the home button to stop them wiggling and then of course you can access all your applications again go to settings we can switch them all around it works really nice very smooth on the iPad as well as the iPhone and iPod touch so that's a really nice feature so just something to notice there so that's really nice okay so we're going to exit out of that so also on the multitasking bar if you slide to the right you will notice this sort of music control thing again you see that on the iPhone and the iPod touch but you also notice this bar right here. Now this is slightly different. This is your brightness, so you can access, you can change the brightness of your screen uh, from your your multitasking bar. So that's a really nice little feature there. Just something minor. You you might use it, you might not. I certainly change my brightness a few a bit more than I would normally do because it's there, and I don't have to go into settings and do it from there. So that's a really nice feature. You also have your music controls as always. You've got your previous track, play, pause and your next track. You also can access the iPad application straight from there as well. Now you also notice the rotation lock. Now this is for landscape and portrait, not just like the iPhone which where it's only portrait. This is lock in landscape and portrait. But you're probably thinking why is that there and why is it integrated in the software when you have a rotation lock button on the iPad? Well the reason is, is now they've changed it. Because it doesn't actually state that it is a rotation lock, you can actually just... Now let me just uh, go off that. Now if I just switch the rotation lock or what it used to be rotation lock you will notice that it basically just puts it in silent mode so it's not in silent anymore and I just put it in silent now. Um, I don't actually like this feature, I preferred that switch, the actual manual switch to be the rotation lock so maybe um, they're just seeing if people like that and if not they'll change it back to how it was before but I personally I prefer that to be the rotation lock instead of a silent switch. I think you don't really need it because you can just hold down the volume button and it goes straight to silent anyway. So it's not really a must have on, on the iPad. Maybe on the iPhone, yes, but not really on the iPad. So, okay, so you get the rotation lock down there. But as always in iOS 4, you can now have folders as you can see down here. It is a bit sort of laggy and choppy in this first beta, but I'm sure that will improve. But here's my social folders. Of course, you all know how to make folders. Now you just make, put them in wiggle mode, and you just drag them over. So let's just drag some games in, and it makes a folder. So and it will name it racing. And of course, I can add more if I want. And there you go. There's folders on iOS 4, or on the iPad. It looks really nice. Runs really well. So that's a really nice feature. Also. Um, you will notice in mail now, bear with me guys because my mail application does crash really all the time but you do have the all inboxes thing that you see in iOS 4, it's going to crash now or it will crash, crash I'm sure, it always seems to crash but you, as you can see you get the all inboxes in your mail so that's a really nice feature in the mail especially on the iPad with such a large screen now you will also notice if you go to Safari and we just load up migrateiphone.com it will just load up right now 
But if you load up any website or anything like that and you feel the need to print it, um, you have wireless printing now, so that's a really nice. You will need to hook it up to your um, your printer, your wireless printer, and you will need um, at the moment Mac OS 10.6, which I believe is a beta. So I don't have that at the moment, but I won't be able to show you. It, but you can just click that button right there, the share button, and then the bottom here you can see print. Now we click that, and you can choose your printer. It will look for printers if if, if you don't have it connected, it's not going to find it. But um, and you can change how many copies you want and then of course click print I'm not going to be able to print it right now but there you go guys that's a really nice feature it's called you can have print um, you can print all your documents off so from like applications like pages I'm pretty sure you'll be able to print and obviously any website you feel the need to print out as well so that's a really nice feature you won't need an application anymore to do that so that's really nice to see. You also will have something in iOS 4.2 called AirPlay. At the moment, I can't access it. I believe there's only certain beta packages that allow AirPlay to be tested. But on my one, I don't have it. So I can't show you it right now. But AirPlay basically will allow you to stream your videos, your photos um, onto your Apple TV. So that's a really nice feature. Now, you also notice Game Center is on the iPad right now. So we can open up Game Center. Okay, so just let Game Center load. As you can see, there's my username right there, Hoodstar. You can add me. Just search for Hoodstar, of course, and I'll try and get. Um, I'll try and accept all of you if possible. But there you go, Hoodstar. You can add me. You've got your friends, your games, your achievements. I haven't been able to play because most of the iPad games, or pretty much all the iPad games, don't have Game Center at the moment. I don't have Game Center on my iPhone just yet. Um, so that's that. Uh, you can also see view your friends, you've got them in the nice little list here and if you click on them you can see their games and unfriend them, report a problem and at, if you click on these games it will take you to the app store so that's really nice, you can see what games you've played or find Game Center games and you can um, view your requests and of course add them in the top left corner. So that's really nice, Game Center it looks really good on the iPad, uh, nice big space for it to, for everyone to view, so that's really nice. So that's pretty much iOS 4.2 guys, you get all the same features that you would find on iOS 4.0 and it's now just all ported over to the iPad. So I believe that's everything I can show you right now. Um, if I get hold of any later beta stages like beta 4, the last beta stage, um, I'll show you that and show you what the difference is between the two. Um, and of course we'll tell you when the full release is out of course. Um, but that's pretty much it guys, it's Nick here from MigratIphone.com showing you a preview of iOS 4.2 Beta 1 and this is on the iPad as you can see right here in front of you. Um, if I've missed anything out just let me know in the comments and I'll obviously add an annotations or whatever. But that's it, if you have any questions leave comments down below. Don't forget to follow the whole team, follow the weekly breeze as well and um, I'll catch you guys real soon. Have a great day and thanks for watching.